Hi, everybody. It's me. <laughs> um, this is what I look like. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you have the same experience, but um, this has basically been the weirdest week ever of my entire life. And I don't know. Maybe you had the same experience. Um, I don't know if you heard or not, but there's a version of Cats, the movie, that has CGI cat buttholes. And um, I don't know, my mind is just like, what? Why? Anyway, um, so some people have said, hey, Clay, you're supposed to be an artist. Why don't you do a drawing video, like a tutorial? And, uh, you know, I thought, yeah, I could do that because, I don't know, you might not know, but I am an expert in drawing rabbits. And um, so I'm here in my studio and I thought, I don't know, let's draw some rabbits. Because, you know, I studied at the Rabbit Drawing Academy in Japan for 17 years. And uh, so I thought, okay, let's draw a rabbit. So um, let's get started. Okay, so um, here we are. We've got our paper. It's just regular paper, like printer paper nothing fancy and uh, we're just gonna like warm up our fingers do a warm up finger warm up warm 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 up um, this might be you know a little too advanced for you but you give it a shot okay so uh, also uh, what artists usually do when they do these instructional videos is they show you you know what they're gonna use and so here's what I'm going to use. Um, I found these pencils and um, so these ones, you can find these uh, like at the back of pretty much every kid's desk and at the bottom of their backpacks. So I suggest you um, go there and find however hundreds of them they have shoved in the back of their desk. Um, these ones, actually, a, a real artist, Heather Ross, sh uh, she recommended these. And uh, I really like them. They're fun to draw with because they're soft lead and um, they always stay sharp and the Erasers are really good because I like to erase a lot. And um, later on, we'll get into some color. These, I got these at Daiso. If you haven't been to Daiso, too bad. Um, these flare pens, uh, Linda Berry really recommends these for her comic exercises. I like this guy. It's kind of like a brush pen marker thing. Make some nice inky marks. Um, I also have this squeezy marker ink thing. It makes kind of nice texture. So, but you use whatever you want. Whatever you have, whatever is around. Um, I have these two erasers. This one is squishy, so it's really actually nice to have in your hand while you're drawing. If you're like me and you need constant motion and constant fidgeting. Um, okay, so I said I was going to draw a rabbit because... Um, I'm really, really good at drawing rabbits, and I want to share with you. Don't worry if you don't feel like you know how to draw. 
because I'm going to give you all of the building blocks right now for drawing a rabbit. So let's see. Rabbits. Okay. Rabbits have, let's see, let's start with an oval here. And then um, let's do a big oval here. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. Okay. Now, uh, let's say there's like a big rabbit, beefy thigh right there. And then like another part of the rabbit leg and then rabbit foot. Okay. And then we should do the other leg because most rabbits have two back legs. Um, that's normal. Okay, and then let's do another circle here. And just for fun, let's do another one down here. And let's do this, another circle there. And, uh, and one there. So, try to catch up and, uh, don't worry if it, if you think like, hey, wait a minute, that does not look like a rabbit. Don't worry, it will. Okay, so now we've got our perfect ovals. Let's connect this oval to this oval. And let's connect this one, let's say down, down to there rabbit neck okay rabbit neck okay and now uh, you know what i think most rabbits if you study rabbits as, as much as i did you will know that rabbits also have tails so let's put a rabbit tail there rabbit tail. Okay, looking good. Um, okay, so feeling good. Let's connect these two ovals here. Why not? And then also rabbits have these like crazy things that come off their backs like this kind of I mean you do your version you don't have to copy this one okay so but I am I am the expert so if you if you want to know okay so this is a the average rabbit has this many on their back. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Next thing. Um, okay, so let's do rabbit paw. I'm going to switch my pencil because this is, you know, more detail work right now. Let's do rabbit paw. Rabbit paw number one. Rabbit paw number two. This, this leg is, needs a little something. Let's fix it. Looks a little weird. Okay. So, everybody knows rabbits have these sort of big feet that look like, uh, sort of like bear claws, but I don't know, kind of different. Yeah. Okay, and then there's one back here. Can you see? Okay. 
Don't, you know, don't stress if your rabbit does not look as good as this one because, you know, I practice pretty much every year, once a year. Okay, um, let's see. That's the rabbit eye and that is the rabbit nostril. Okay. I think this rabbit's pretty happy because he or she um, probably sees a friend. I think that this rabbit sees a friend over there and they're like, hey friend, I can't come see you because I'm social distancing right now, but I'm uh, super happy you're still alive. So even, um, even rabbits are practicing, you know, a little bit of social distancing right now. And so, uh, you can just erase, you could use your big eraser, you could use this eraser, you could use this eraser. This eraser works pretty well. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying to go fast because I don't want to be boring you with all the like minute details of drawing a rabbit. I just want this to be quick and easy. Okay, so now let's, you know, let's get these things. Well, let's finish doing this. Make these ovals. We'll blend these ovals into a nice beefy leg there. Jesus, look at that. Looking good. Nice leg. Here's the... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Let's, uh, let's move on. Smiling, smiling. Hi, friend. Okay, let's finish these and then we'll be done. And you, my friend, will have drawn A rabbit with the world's elite rabbit drawing expert, me. I'm not trying to be braggy, I'm just saying that, um, you know, sometimes you gotta say, you know, I'm good at something and that's okay. It's okay to be good at something, especially when it's something as amazing as drawing bits. Okay, so, hey, you did it. You drew a rabbit. Okay, so since this rabbit, everybody knows rabbits are green. I got the screen, I got the screen. Two green. Okay. Let's start with the light green, I guess. And um, let's just go for it, right? Why not? Make it your own. Your rabbit does not have to be green. Your rabbit could be white. It could be purple. Your rabbit could carry a basket with um, brightly colored decorated eggs. And um, wear like a bow tie. 
I mean, I know that's crazy. That's nuts. Don't, I mean, that is crazy. That would never happen in real life. I mean, whoever heard of a rabbit that gets all dressed up in a fancy hat. Perfect, as usual. Okay, that did sound kind of braggy. I'm sorry. Okay, let's um, let's just you know, finish off with a little ink. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if this one works better. Sometimes those brush pens, man. Maybe this rabbit has like some bags. Don't forget the eyebrows. That's what they always say. Don't forget the eyebrows. Who says that? Everybody. Okay. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed drawing a rabbit with me. And I would love to hear from you about other things. I am also, I'm not gonna, you know, toot my horn too much, but I'm pretty good at also drawing um, horses and um, like squirrels, all types of rodents. Um, you know, I pretty much, I can draw anything. Uh-oh, uh that's okay. Don't worry about it. It does not matter. Okay. This rabbit is amazing. He looks a little, uh, Okay. The one thing I will say that I'm not good at drawing and um, you know, I'm not, not scared to admit it. I like these markers, by the way. They make like, um, they have this like flexible tip. I really like I don't know. Let's take it. It's good. Um, also, these markers make really great sort of tonal, shadowy marks. That's very technical. You might not understand that, but um, give it a shot anyway. I mean, what do you have to lose? Nothing, I guess. Let's do a shadow under this rabbit. It's very, he's very big. It's a very big rabbit. Um, he's going to see his friend, but not see his friend, like as in hang out with his friend. He's just gonna, he's gonna see his friend from across the street. Okay, and um, so that's it. You did it. You drew a rabbit. Okay, wait, I was telling you one, one thing. Oh yeah, there's one thing I can't draw. And I, I just, no matter how hard I try, every time I like follow the steps, I can't do it. I can't draw a dinosaur. I don't know. I just can't do it. Anyway, guys, it's been great hanging out with you. This video is sponsored by Ruffles Cheddar Sour Cream Chips. Not really. And water. Drink your water. And um, hope you
hope you're having a great day and uh, if you want some actual um, instructional video that is actually interesting and super fun and amazing, I recommend you check out um, Wendy McNaughton. She is Wendy at Wendy Mac on Instagram and um, she's doing an art class, I don't know, forever I guess now. <laughs> And um, she'll start back up on, um, she'll start back up with classes on Monday. So it starts at 10 o'clock. She's amazing. Um, she's so generous and uh, really appreciate people out there doing stuff like that. And uh, yeah, have a good day. See you later.